Hey, so this video is all for my lazy friends. I am really down to my core lazy. I, if left to my own devices and I could get away with never doing anything, that would be me. So a lot of times I incorporate that into my yoga or my workouts. How can I make this easier so that I actually do it? Um, so what I want to show you is one of my favorite wall stretches uh, to do. And this, a lot of times doing wall, wall holds, wall stretches, wall poses, whatever you want to call them, um, are really wonderful to do before bed. Um, just kind of like, I don't know if you've heard, you know, legs up the wall. Anytime we can get our legs above our heart and kind of get the circulation going back down and make things a little bit easier on our system, it's really calming. And so this stuff can be really great to do before bed. Um, but it's also good to do anytime. And the, what we're going to do specifically is going to be really good for your hips and, and possibly your low back too. So this is what you can do. Um, if you are feeling tight in your hips or low back, I highly recommend this. Or again, like I said before bed, if you kind of just want to calm, calm things down. So what you do is first, obviously make sure that there's not a bunch of shit on your wall because you don't want to kick it off. Um, pick one side, slide that side of the body as close to the wall as you can. And then as you begin to lay down onto your back, swing your legs up onto the wall and move your hips. Now, while we're here, so, so legs up the wall, this is the first, first thing you, you can literally do this for as long as you want. Um, like, uh, wonderful for calming, wonderful for grounding, wonderful for getting circulation, moving back down to your heart. Um, the thing to note though, is the closer your butt is to the wall, the deeper all of these stretches are going to be that I'm going to show you. So if anything feels too intense, just, just scoot away from the wall a few more inches. So this is the first guy, um, legs up the wall. Really, you can do it for as long as you want, but, but because we're lazy, right? Let's just say we're going to do it for a minute. I'm not going to hold all of these for a minute just for the sake of keeping the video short, but um, hold it for a minute. After that minute is over, bend both of your legs, placing your feet flat on the wall, and you can stay here for another minute. You can keep the feet a little more elevated or closer down to your hips, depending on what, what feels better for you. And then arms can be really wherever they want. They can be out by your side or you can kind of rest them on your knees, whatever feels good. Next thing that you can do is, so right, our, our knees and, and legs are kind of wide right now. You'd walk them closer to midline. Feet are flat. And then use your feet and the strength of your legs to push your hips up. So now my hips are elevated off the mat. And what I'm going to do is cross my left ankle over my right knee and then sit back down. Your butt may float here. Your butt may not be able to sink all the way down to the mat like it would if you were here. And again, this can be really intense. So if you practice this and you feel like it's too deep, simply scoot away from the wall to come out, you can just take that ankle off, sit your hips back down, give yourself a little bit of a rest, lift the hips back up, bend the right knee, place that ankle over the opposite knee, sit the hips back down. If you hold all of those for a minute, you will feel so good. You'll feel so good you moved. You feel so good you did something good for your body. You feel so good because you honored your laziness. <laughs> you didn't make it too difficult. And I think you'll love it. So that's that. See you later, friend. Bye.